Good morning, guys. Well, actually, it's afternoon. <laughs> it's like 12.30, 12.45. I slept in today because I wasn't really feeling well. Actually, I woke up at 10. And then I just I couldn't hang. So I just fell back asleep, woke up at 12, and I was like, shit. But anyways, I have a package. Well, I have three. Today. Um, I already can tell. I know this one's from Anastasia because I can see the, um... Who is this one from? I don't even know. Like, I'm actually like, what? Um, okay, so there's, don't mind my nails. There's this one. I don't know what it is. And then, Coco. Coco wants to know what it is too, right, baby? <laughs> so I also got the Jock and Hill Morphe palette. I just literally messed it up. <laughs> um, swatching two of the colors. But I'll save that for an actual video. And then from ABH, I already threw out the boxes, so that's why everything's, like, out of the boxes already. Um, but I got the ABH Subculture Palette from Anastasia. By the time this video, this vlog goes out, it'll already be released in stores. But I'm super excited to try this. Like, look at this color range. Deadass. Like, beautiful. Like, yellow. Yellow has literally been one of my favorite colors lately, so I'm super excited to try the yellow, this gold, this teal, but yeah, so I'll do a, probably do a video on this with this as well. Super pretty. And this, I'm actually probably going to use this as a clutch. Well, it's dirty right now, but I'm going to probably use this as a clutch or something. I got eyeshadow all over it, but um, yeah, this is mad cute. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus, but yeah. So, um, this is what I'm currently dealing with, though. Um, I got packages <laughs> hole in the corner, clean clothes, more clothes, and I have no hanger space in my closet, so I have to do spring cleaning. Not today, because I have so many videos and stuff to get done. Okay, guys, it's currently, what time is it, like 9.45 a.m. I just dropped my little brother off at summer camp he's going to like the summer camp for like computers like you know learn more about like software and stuff because he's really good at that stuff so yeah my dad put him in um summer camp sorry i'm like playing with my hair i get annoyed when i see some people do that but i can't help it because my weave needs some help and some combing but yeah um so i'm on my way to the nail salon because i went there two days ago this is why i don't like going to this place I have a place that I go to right by my house, but because I've been so busy, like, I wouldn't have been able to make it in time because they close at 8. And this salon, they're open until midnight. So that's why, like, going there, if I have so many things to do, like, I'll go there um, because it's the only place that's open. But I really, like, I'll, I go there for waxing still, like, um, upper lip, um, I'll get my eyebrows threaded. That's the most I'll do there because everything else sorry but like I used to love them so much but they suck um this time that I went two days ago so I went to do my toes everybody every female should know that um sorry for milling but if every female should know that okay like did you drop any slower every female knows white or everybody should know like white is a color like how do you not have white nail polish so you know I went to go do my toes as usual um, you know I'm trying to do my white toes because it's traditional as a female um, white looks the best on our toes and they're gonna tell me that they don't have white nail polish not even that Let's see if I can probably flip this oh wow okay yes. okay so not even that so I, she's like what color so they did my nails first and some guy did my nail. I'm not gonna lie, my nails look really, really bomb. So the guy did my nails, and it's not as bright as it looks on camera. It's more like a soft, bright, honey yellow. I don't know if you guys know what I mean. But anyways, so why the next day do I see like um like scratches on the side of my finger? Like you know, have any if any of you guys have gotten your nails done and gotten them filed and they literally filed into your skin that's what happened but it was just like skin like I was like okay like so it's gonna peel off no the next day I started bleeding and my iPhone's just not trying to focus with the ting them it's two cuts like literally 
Yeah, my eyebrows are so bushy. I'm about to get them done, though. Can you just show the people them? Okay. So, you see there's, like, two slits. One here and one here. And I went out on Sunday, and my finger started, like, burning and, like, bleeding. Like, I was bleeding. And I was like, what the hell? This is not the first time. The first time I went... Not the first time, but... That's why I stopped going there to do my nails. Even though they were open till midnight, I was like, no, I'm over it. Because the freaking old lady that does my nails every time filed all the way into my finger like it was burning while she was filing it and i'm like you know i pulled my hand bitch i was fucking dripping in blood like she went all the way into my skin like it was so deep my finger like it was blood running down my finger i'm like um and she's like oh it's okay oh it's okay she's like not that bad and then she had the audacity to be like oh your nose ring she's like if you can have this then you can take this pain and i was like how are you trying to tell me like what i what i can and cannot take bitch my finger is dripping in blood not only did you just fuck up my finger you're not even gonna say sorry and act like it's not that big of a deal i was so upset guys um so this happened this time mind you i stopped going there because of that so i'm like all right whatever i gotta get my nails done i'm going to an event tomorrow whatever whatever Get my nails done, they came out nice, only to find out, ooh, the color looks really nice. Only to find out that this guy cut me, so it's not just that one girl. Their staff just sucks. It's my toes now. So, you know, I did the yellow, and then I was going to do yellow on my toes, but I was like, no, because I always do white, like white, like white is toes for ladies, like, and honestly, I could, they don't, they didn't have white, unless it was shellac, but I didn't want to do shellac on my toes, I only do shellac on my hands. Um, and their pricing is a little bit more expensive, so I was like, nah, I'll just settle for the regular nail polish. The girl's going through her kit. She doesn't have white nail polish. She asks one of her co-workers, or like, no, I don't have white. Going around asking every other nail tech if they have, um, nail polish. And I'm like, you guys don't, how do you not have white nail polish? You guys have every color on the list. She went around asking everybody for white nail polish. Nobody had white nail polish. And I'm like, how do you not have white nail polish as a nail salon? But I was like, whatever. They're showing me all these next white colors um, that had shimmer. And I don't like shimmer nail polish unless I'm actually trying to do, like, glitter. I don't like when you, you know, those soft colors. And, unless it's, like, a light pink or nude. But other than that, I don't want shimmer. So I had to settle for some, like, off-white kind of, like, an off-white cream greenish color. It's nice. But she did, like, four coats. And as soon as I got home, every toe was, like, squished and smudged because she put so much on it was disgusting and I had like nail polish like creeping in the, in the crevices and the corners and my cuticles I was like this is like this looks like my little brother did it my little brother dead ass could have done a better job and I was just upset so anyways I called them back um and I was like hi I was there two days ago and yeah my toes no good I did my toes on my hands and my toes are disgusting I was like so I'm on my way right now to get them fixed because like I'm not about like no I, I just paid for this and I wasted my money and I'm not happy with the job so we just left the Estee Lauder fall collection preview launch event and now we're at what is this Al Katrine Al Katrine eating I'm getting some well I'm eating some burritos Darcy <laughs> we have Aisha yeah and we're on our way well after we eat we're gonna be going to this kin um party I just got it, so I don't really know. Um, Kin Community, there you go. Kin Community Day Party, which I'm really excited to go to. It's actually such a beautiful day today in Toronto, and a perfect day to vlog. I wish I was vlogging like all day. But yeah, um, I was drinking a sangria. Hey guys, so I'm just here trying to figure out my life right now. <laughs> I'm trying to plan my birthday. Um, your girl's turning 21 and I wanted to go to LA. Um, or Vegas, um, but, you know, things didn't go as planned. I mean, I'm still down to go, but, like, you know, um, it is really expensive to go to L.A. The tickets 
are like like four almost 500 Canadian dollars which is like in US it's probably like 350 400 but yeah Canadian dollars it's like 500 and you know like a lot of my friends are going to school um, or like you know like it's hard like $500 is a lot of money just for a ticket to LA then there are some people that are coming on the trip that you know like they're down to drop that amount so I'm just trying to make everybody happy so I tried to well I'm thinking of settling for New York because as you can see it's only 259 Canadian and regardless like I love New York I'll always love New York but I've been going so much lately I'm just like am I gonna like is this how I want to celebrate my 21st birthday not saying I'm not gonna have a lit time in New York regardless and I know a lot of people down there and I have a lot of friends down there um, but yeah, like I just want to make sure I'm making the right decision and you know, as I was saying, I don't expect people to drop, you know, almost $500 on a ticket just to celebrate my birthday. Like I'd rather settle and make everybody happy because like me just going to LA is not going to make me happy if, you know, other people aren't too happy about the price. Like other people um, being happy about what they're spending their money on for my birthday and still having a good time is what's ultimately gonna make me happy even though it is my birthday it's not just about me and what where I want to go because money is involved and yeah so so what has me kind of second-guessing and hesitant towards going ahead and purchasing my ticket is the fact that okay so yes the flights are 259 but I do want to stay in Manhattan and if I'm gonna stay in Manhattan um, based on what I'm look looking at it's about six of us um, for a decent apartment or place in Manhattan, everybody would be paying around four fifty each. Four fifty to like four eighty is basically what I've seen after like you know, like I divide it by how much we would each be pitching. So that already two fifty nine or like two sixty. Two sixty plus four hundred is six sixty. Plus another f 40 bucks like we're already spending we're already spending like $700 there and um, For LA. <laughs> I'm gonna show you guys because the tickets are crazy expensive On flight hub they are 487 and that's only two seats left then the rest are starting at 517 um, On Expedia there's four left for 460 and then there's another four for 489 so that already, I'm paying 460 and then the thing is the houses in LA are a little bit cheaper, um, for like, and they're really big, so based on, okay, not this place, I actually don't like this place, I'm gonna see if I can find something that's not too pricey from what I've seen, okay, so like this one. This place is a um, the really nice houses that they have on Airbnb, like huge houses with like pools and stuff like that, like four bedroom, three bedroom. Um, when I divide it by everything, like everyone would be paying, everyone would literally be paying like around like 400, 300, like 350, 400. Um, so there's really only like a hundred and fifty to like two hundred dollar difference in how much we'd be spending on both trips obviously LA would be more lit but then again like I said um, you know like everyone everyone feels differently so I'm just trying to make sure everybody's on the same page before I go ahead and buy this ticket but then I'm trying to buy the ticket because I don't want the pricing to go up so um, there's my morning and I'm also about to I just edited 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 this look I literally just posted this last night and now I'm about to edit my Q&A by the time this vlog is up my q and is probably gonna be up more than likely gonna be up but yeah um, I'm gonna edit my Q&A and I'm dreading editing that because I literally like when I imported it I literally had like 50 clips because yeah my clips aren't in chronological order so yeah there's that so yeah, that's going to be really annoying to edit, but anyways, I just want to book this ticket so I can stop worrying. I think I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I messaged everybody in the group chat last night anyways, so yeah. 
So I am heading to the beauty supply store to pick up some conditioner. And I was going to pick up more bleach, but I don't think. Okay, let me just... So I'm processing my hair myself. Well, I already did it. <laughs> the frontal came out really, really nice. I still have to tone it. But the rest of the bundles, except for this one. This one's not that bad, but y'all, the hair is fried. Like, what is that? Like, I can't deal. Guys, like, this is supposed to be my birthday hair. What do you ask? What do you ask is that? Yeah, so I am gonna pick up some... I don't know why it's not focusing. Yeah, so I'm gonna go pick up some conditioner. Probably the one from the organics brand the OGX brand I want to see if I can find that silicone mix one that like apparently is like a Jesus of um, deep conditioning for weave and well for natural hair too so because I need to still tone this but I can't even comb through the hair like and I've been trying to comb through it I, like this is disgusting so I just need to go deep condition this because I'm scared y'all like this is supposed to be my birthday hair so, just heading out. <coughs> yeah, I'm going to the hair store. Just got downstairs. My grandma is cooking. I got the sweet potato. Mm, it smells so good. Got some green beans. Grandma, what's this? Chicken? Barbecue chicken. Mm. Some barbecue chicken. What's in the oven? What's in the oven? Pardon? Planting. Okay. Oh my god, I'm hyped. 